Thank you. Diversity, that, that was uh, the talk of the town uh, so far, but now moving on forward, um, once again, we'd quickly take this moment to remind you of tweeting. Hope you're doing that. Uh, Twitter handle, hashtag E4MIBC is what you need to work upon. Uh, moving forward, we'd also like to announce at this stage about the fourth edition of the Primetime Awards, which felicitates excellence for television commercials. Uh, the awards night is scheduled actually for Mumbai on 2nd of February 2018, and the nominations are still being accepted. Uh, we wanted to keep you posted about that. These are nominations uh, open for all brands, media agencies, broadcasters, production houses. Uh, so send in your best. And uh, we'd also have a short film that we'd like to show you about uh, these awards. So could we have the film, please? accounts for nearly 50% of the total ad spend in India, so obviously uh, television awards are uh, very, very important for the industry, so uh, the great initiative of uh, E4M, which is the Primetime Awards. So that's another one that uh, that you need to look forward to on uh, the 2nd of February 2018 in Mumbai. At this moment, we'd also like to once again thank our partners, uh, Sakal uh, Media Group, Maharashtra's number one newspaper and powered by and TV. We'd also like to thank our exclusive goal partner, ABP News, Aapko Rakhe Aage, television partner, Pitara TV. Pitara TV, world's first 24 by 7 Punjabi movie channel for global audience. Our entertainment partner, Discovery Jeet, Hey Mumkin, co-partner, Social Connect, Digital Media, Digital, Digital Marketing Agency, webcast partner, 24 Frames Digital, and our video technology partner, Videogram. And we also have uh, some more films to show you and entertain you with this one. Here we go. Could we have the films, please? Amita Bachchan ki awaaz ko bhi na All India Radio ne reject kiya tha. Parosa kar apne music par. Audience ko mili dani. चैलेंज करने वाला आज तक ना कोई आया है और ना कोई आएगा तू किंग है किंग किंग ऑफ हिप हॉप असली गबरू तो 
तुम्हें तो भूत दिखते ही थे अब पब्लिक को भी दिखने लगे पापा चलो भगवान के पास चले जाते हैं का उतारा बन जाते हैं तो फिर इसमें से महावला तारा कौन सा है वो देखो वो सामने वो जो तारा टिमटिमा रहा है ना वो तारे वहां और वो जो दो तारे हैं अरे नहीं वो आपकी मासी है और वो जो दूसरा तारा है ना वो शर्मा अंकल है पापा अगर हम ठीक नहीं होंगे तो हम भी तारा बन जाएंगे ना अरे नहीं बेटिया आप तो पहले से ही तारा हो और बहुत ही स्पेशल तारा हो जो जमीन पर रहता है और आपको ही देख के वो सारे लोग ना अपना घर पहचानते हैं वो सब यही कहते हैं कि वो देखो वो रहा हमारा मोहल्ला जहाँ गुनगुन तारा रहता है अब आप भी वहां चले जाएंगे तो दोनों तरफ अंधेरा हो जाएगा ना है। वो वाला? गब्बर से। तेजी से बदलती दुनिया में हर सही चीज पर पकड़ होनी चाहिए जैसे फिसलती कुर्सी पर पकड़ पड़ोसी से बिगड़ते रिश्ते पर पकड़ जिंदगी में खुलते जहर पर पकड़ नोटों के बदलते रंग पर पकड़ किसी की रोजी रोटी की फिकर पर पकड़ प्लास्टिक में बदलते कागज पर पकड़ मैच के बदलते रुख पर पकड़ हर उठती आवाज पर पकड़ एबीपी न्यूज रखता है हर खबर पर पकड़ ताकि आप रहें सबसे आगे एबीपी न्यूज आपको रखे आगे राइट थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच वी होप यू लाइक दोज वीडियोज नाउ मूविंग फर्दर वट एवर वी डिस्कस टूडे फंडामेंटली ऑल बॉइल्स डाउन टू बिल्डिंग अ स्ट्रॉन्ग ब्रांड एंड दैट्स एग्जैक्टली द टॉपिक दैट वी हैव आर नेक्स्ट स्पीकर टॉकिंग अबाउट Uh, another strong entrepreneur lady uh, let me welcome in on stage ms radhika agarwal who's the co-founder for shopclues.com 
And uh, just to tell you a little about Radhika, she's the co-founder and the chief business officer at Shop Clues. She's also the first Indian woman co-founder to enter the prestigious echelons of the Unicorn Club. As a driving force behind its go-to-market initiative, she has carefully nurtured the brand to make it a household name in less than five years now. Uh, Radhika has backed the Tech Women Entrepreneur of the Year Award at the Disruptive Tech and Innovation Awards for 2016 as well. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ms. Agarwal. Welcome in. so much. Um, can you all hear me? Great. So when you have to follow uh, films that cover horror, emotion, comedy, and everything else, um, it's important to get your act together. And I have to say I'm a little nervous doing that right now because every emotion was covered in all those films that we saw uh, today. Um, so uh, when I was asked to come in and uh, talk to you about building a strong brand in uh, in the digital era, um, there was a lot of thought that went into this. You know, uh, talking to a room full of marketeers, uh, words like brand salience and uh, uh, brand manifesto are, uh, I think, part of your day-to-day -day, uh, vocabulary. Uh, and what can I really tell you about that? Um, so today, I'm really going to tell you something about my industry and talk to you about how we have built Shop Clues from scratch. There are some films that I'll be covering as well, but uh, that's not working. So there are some films that I'll be covering as well, uh, if the clicker works. Thank you. But First and foremost, um, Shop Clues started in 2011, and uh, our entire premise behind starting the company was that e-commerce in pretty much any country should resemble offline commerce strongly as well. And uh, in India, uh, the incumbents at that time resembled a mall more than the bazaars where most of India shopped. and. Uh, 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 for us, uh, the entire thought process was to get the bazaars, get the small, medium merchants online, and that was really the genesis of the business. Now, um, we know that we live in the dig digital era, yet digital seems to be the toughest part to crack when we build a brand. Even today, when we do marketing, we don't necessarily look at marketing as a wholesome strategy. We look at it as uh, you know, breaking up you know, what is our strategy, what is our brand strategy, what is our performance strategy. Yet, the fastest growing companies in today's era have figured out their brand promise far before they've invested a single dollar in brand marketing. Let's take a very simple example of Uber. Now, Uber is evolving the way the world moves. Uh, they started off with the tagline of everyone's private driver. Uh, and uh, they've gone much beyond that. Uh, they're delivering pretty much uh, you know, on-demand flu vaccinations, Christmas trees, kittens, supercars, nannies, same-day shopping service. They've expanded themselves far beyond just getting a person from point A to point B. Uh, now, because Uber uh, defines itself as a global urban infrastructure and logistics company, uh, they've been able to command a very hefty valuation, uh, but that's where the branding comes in. You know, how do they actually brand themselves? Um, they focus on user experience to scale growth and build a brand, but the fact of the matter is that brand building and scaling growth and at the same time building in the technical craft, that means that building out the product itself while you're creating the brand has become integral to building out any of the new brands at this time. Brian Chesky, who started Airbnb, said that a house is just a space, but a home is where you belong. And that's where the brand truth of Airbnb lies. 
I know you heard the Airbnb country director, Amar Preet, earlier, uh, but it's very important uh, to remember how they've been able to evolve from a technology company that really reverse engineered Craigslist into a lifestyle brand. That's what they are, a lifestyle brand. And again, without significant branding spend, very focused on building out the product itself. And that's really where uh, I think modern products are. So modern products, sorry. modern products are really never complete. You know, they are connected, they are upgradable, they are trackable. Uh, but the fact is that they continue to add value and the brand has to continue to be very, very flex flexible as well. So uh, again, let's go back to Shop Clues. When we started Shop Clues in 2011, uh, we had a very clear position in mind. Uh, we believed that online commerce should be like offline commerce and uh, that's where the genesis was. Uh, the last six years have been an amazing roller coaster ride. Uh, today we have about 600,000 merchants on the platform, about 25 million customers have transacted with us. We ship out over 3 million units on a monthly basis. And uh, I'm very proud to say that through all of it, we've been able to build a brand that is fundamentally strong. Uh, but building all of this was not easy. And uh, uh, more than that, uh, it is an expensive proposition to build out any brand in India today. So when we launched Shop Clues, uh, we took a bunch of shortcuts into building out the brand and to do the marketing aspect of it. I want to talk about some of those today. One of the first things we did when we built, when we launched Shop Clues is that we took a page off the famous Gmail success story. In December 2011, Facebook, which is when we launched, Facebook was hugely popular and anyone worth their salt who was online was available on, uh, on Facebook. So uh, we created a page on Facebook and the only way you could access that page was to uh, like the page and uh, when you accessed it, you could get a secret code that would take you to the site. So if you went to shopclues.com, you would not be able to access it. There was just a blank page that said that the site is not open for public consumption as yet. But if you went to Facebook, liked the page, and entered shopclues, you would be able to use the access code and enter shopclues. You'd be able to see amazing deals, and you would get 50 clues bucks, which were equivalent to cash at that time, and be able to make a purchase. What we also, also did was, uh, and which was very important for us at that time, was that we had a huge selection of products which were between 50 to 100 rupees. Now, if we had just launched the product and gone out through Google or branding or any of the other things, our cost of customer acquisition would have been 350 rupees or more, which is typically how AdWords or social media, for all of you who are in digital marketing, that's how it typically lands up working. But, uh, um, this strategy worked very well for us. Um, what really landed up happening was that people got to buy something on the very first visit. They turned, uh, they, were not just they were not just visitors, they were customers. We saw visits and transactions at the same time. Uh, they had an access to a site that was very popular, but they couldn't, uh, but the others couldn't access it. So huge virality, they were more likely to share it across, uh, across message boards, etc. And overnight, we were an internet sensation. Everyone was sharing their purchases on social media, texting their friends, and honestly, you know, who doesn't like to pat their own back? So we, with very, very little spend and just a little bit of smart marketing, we were able to get our name out to a large amount of audience who would have never been able to, who we would have never been able to reach with the kind of budget that we had. Now, um, there were two other b additional uh, business benefits to it. Uh, one of them being that, um, you know, the clues box that I talked about, you could use clues box only if you used a prepaid order. Now, as consumers, we all love COD, uh, but if you talk to any of us in the internet space, you know, e-commerce space, you know that COD is really the bane of our life. The returns are very high, it's a very expensive proposition, and uh, in, spite of, uh, in spite of COD being the easier way, and that's how most of the, uh, user, most of the companies were acquiring customers at that time, you could use the clues box on shop clues only if you placed a prepaid order. 
So even if they had to pay for 10 rupees, they had to put in their, their debit card or net banking. So not only did we convert the customers, push them down the funnel into, uh, the visitors push them down the funnel to, into becoming customers, but they became the best kind of customers that we could have had. They became prepaid customers. And again, a very, very little spend in all of that. So the next time we tried to do marketing uh, for our brand uh, a couple of months down the line, and uh, again, we quickly realized that we won't really be getting anywhere with uh, the small budgets that we had in the big bad world of Google, and especially against uh, the 800 pound gorillas in the room. There was Flipkart and there was Jabong that had just launched and, and they were aggressively marketing across television and digital everywhere else. So um, that is where, again, uh, we decided we were just going to do things differently. We went back to the dining table. Uh, yeah, we were operating out of our house as, as yet, so the dining table was really the boardroom at that time. We went back to the dining table and brainstormed again on what would be the right thing for us to do at that time. Now, the first thing uh, we wanted to be was uh, uh, very clear on was what our objective is. Um, awareness. Um, yeah, you know, in many ways, we just wanted to be part of the consideration funnel. We were not being ambitious. Just being part of the awareness set would have been great for us. And uh, it would have been a minor miracle if we would have been able to get some action out of it as well. And at that same time, we had some merchants walk in and they were showing us some of their products. And one of the merchants had uh, these deodorants with him. He had about 10,000 Reebok deodorants. Uh, they were available for about 80 rupees, and uh, our mer my merchant counterpart was looking at those deodorants, and uh, uh, I was going through my numbers, and I realized, you know, sorry, so char so rupega customer acquisition, I bilkul nahi ho paega. I have no idea how to do it. Um, uh, the merchant said he had, and this is a meeting that's going on parallelly, two ends of the dining table. The merchant said he had about 10,000 deodorants. Now, a deodorant is, uh, especially a Reebok deodorant, is an amazing product, guys. It's branded, it's aspirational, and the youth of India will buy dozens of it if they get it at the right price. Um, we had a quick chat and we decided that we are going to use that deodorant as a hook product to get the customers online. So we listed it for nine rupees. Nine rupees plus nine rupees shipping. So we didn't want our, uh, our uh, customers getting hooked on to free shipping. Uh, but the catch was that this product could not be bought on COD. We wanted to make sure that the customers are engaged and they buy it on a prepaid way. We listed 10,000 products in a category what we called in a merchandising property, uh, what we called the jaw-dropping property, jaw-dropping deal. And uh, we sold all of it in less than 20 minutes. So this is a time when getting traffic to the site was a huge challenge. We not only got traffic to the site, huge virality, we also got orders, and we got orders from customers who were more likely to come back the next time. The repeats for customers who, make, uh, who place an order using prepaid is about three times higher than a COD customer. It worked out beautifully for us. Customers who got it, who got the 10 rupee, 9 rupee deodorant, uh, they were, uh, again, hugely vocal about it on message boards. If you remember, they used to be hugely popular at that time. And uh, on message boards and on social media. And those who didn't get it kept coming back to the site again and again to partake in any other deal that comes up. And they would uh, just go ahead and buy other stuff from the site that was available easy, cheap way of getting the word out. We quickly realized that the best way for us to be able to build the brand, to do the marketing, had to be underlined by a strong element of virality. And this is where I'll go back to what I talked about Uber, Airbnb earlier as well. The product itself has to be your biggest brand ambassador. And for us, merchandising on Shopclues became our biggest brand ambassador. The next time around, the problem that we were trying to solve was that, and this is uh, about late 2011, most of the people were accessing the site from uh, uh, 
work from schools, from colleges, that means that the traffic would drop in the evening. The traffic would literally vanish on a Saturday, Sunday. Mobile phones were not as rampant as they are today. And it was the office laptop which was being used to place most of the orders. Now, we saw the traffic go down and we really wanted traffic to come back up on a Sunday because that's really 48 hours that go down the drain. Um, that is where we went back to uh, the ethos of the brand. We wanted the bazaars to come online. And uh, for all of you who've grown up in India, we've all seen the Mangal bazaars and the Shani bazaars. And uh, for those of you who are from outside India, there's the whole concept of flea market there. So we launched uh, what we call the Sunday flea market. And uh, basically, there were products that were lined up from 23 rupees to 500 rupees. There were about 500 to 1,000 products there. And uh, the genesis of that was, again, one of our merchants who had a huge supply. Synthol was changing its packaging at that time. He had a huge supply of Synthol soaps that were the old packaging, and uh, they were available at a 50% discount. And we listed those, and we listed about another 400 products. They were all flashlights for uh, 100 rupees, a set of three skipping ropes for 90 rupees. And the, uh, the merchandising property itself had such huge virality that it took uh, traffic to a, an absolutely different level. From us getting less than 5% of our orders on a Sunday, about 40% of weekly orders started coming on a Sunday. So for most of our customers, they've heard about us for, through our Sunday flea market. So most of these customers would hear their friends talk about and they would come back and check us out on a Sunday. And we quickly realized that merchandising properties are really the right way for us to go. Now, uh, in a market where uh, there is craziness all around and, and people have raised, uh, I think, a total of about 17, 18 billion dollars just in e-commerce itself, um, for a company like ours that is very focused on tier three, tier four, um, uh, tier three, tier four consumers, very focused on small and medium enterprises, and very, very, very focused on uh, uh, the unstructured categories, it's always been very important for our brand to get out in the right way. The first time we actually went out the traditional brand route was uh, in 2014, and. Uh, uh, we wanted to make sure that the width of the products that we cover are covered in that. I'd love for you guys to take a peek at the first commercial that we ever did. And as all of you know, the first commercial is typically uh, your baby. लगा के कैंची उड़ गया पंची, अरे बज गए छे और छे से छुट्टी। लगा के कैंची उड़ गया पंची, बज गए छे और छे से छुट्टी, छे से छुट्टी तेरी मेरी कट्टी, छुट्टी हो गई भाग। Hello Juhi, Hello John, छे से नौ की सेल इज़ ऑन। Hello Juhi, Hello John, छे से नौ की सेल इज़ ऑन। बीटी का के सीट पकड़ के कर ले Shop Clues पेश करते हैं घर वापसी से। हर रोज हमारे ऐप पे सरप्राइज इवनिंग डील्स, इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स, फैशन और होम आइटम्स पर। डिंग से लेके डॉंग, डिंग से लेके डॉंग। सब कुछ on shopclues.com. Thank you. छे से नौ की सेल्स ऑन। So we got the sequence wrong. Uh, this was the second ad that we did. But again, the genesis behind it is very similar to the Sunday flea market that we talked about. Six to nine, we saw a huge surge in uh, traffic on the side because most of the people, if you're stuck in commute traffic, you know either you're on your phone or the person sitting next to you is on your phone. And uh, this led to um, the traffic going up by about 5x and transactions going up about 10x on the mobile app. Mobile app downloads went double in the week that we ran this, this communication. Um, the next one uh, I want to show you is about the Sunday flea market that we talked about already. Can you play, please? 
भाई साहब संडे के संडे पता नहीं क्या हो जाता है ना पूरे हफ्ते तो ठीक रहता हो पर संडे को सुबह के छह बजे नहीं कि पूरा दिन ऐसे ही बेहाल हो जाता है अरे न जाने कौन सिर्फ संडे संडे के संडे ऐसा ही नॉन स्टॉप याद करता है थर्टी वन इन स्कूल ड्राइवर सेट फिफ्टी सिक्स रुपीज में ओ भाई साहब बाइक स्क्रैच रिमूवर सिक्सटी फोर रुपीज में ओ भाई साहब टेराबाइट मिनी स्पीकर नाइनटी नाइन बॉक्स ओ भाई साहब डुबल टाइम वॉच वो भी सिर्फ वन नाइनटी नाइन रुपीज में ओ भाई साहब स्पाई पैन कैमरा टू फोर्टी फोर रुपीज में ओ भाई साहब पेश करता है समने फ्ली मार्केट दुनिया भर का अफलातूनी सामान कुछ अफलातूनी रेट्स पर डिंग से लेके डॉन्ग डिंग से लेके डॉन्ग सब कुछ ऑन शॉप क्लूज डॉट कॉम while we built out our merchandising properties we realized that our brand proposition was getting a little confusing for the consumer and uh, the last one that i want to show you really talks about uh, how we are different from the other players in the market uh, ye ball nahi hai market hai ye good for the pocket hai की कॉन्फिडेंस मार्केट के दाम डिंग से लेके टोंग डिंग से लेके डोंग सब कुछ ऑन शॉप क्लूज डॉट कॉम सो गाइज आई थिंक जस्ट टू एंड इट क्विकली इन टूडेज डे एन इरा वेन यूर बिल्डिंग आउट अ डिजिटल ब्रांड आई थिंक अलॉन्ग विद द कंज्यूमर ट्रुथ द प्रोडक्ट ट्रुथ इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एज वेल योर प्रोडक्ट कनेक्शन टू द ब्रांड हैज टू बी लिटरली बिल्ड आउट मच विद द कंज्यूमर हैज टू बी बिल्ड आउट much before the brand can be built out through any of the films that you're able to do thank you thank you thank you thank you check thank you thank you very much but i think we'll open the house for some questions if there are any uh if you have any questions uh please feel free to ask at this moment all right i think that's what we had so i'm going yeah i'm going to request you to stay back while i request mr prashant gor to uh Uh, kindly join us and present a small uh, memento uh, for joining us here thank you ma'am let's have a round of applause ladies and gentlemen thank you thank you very much mr gaur thank you mr agarwal for that uh, wonderful presentation i think one more uh, insider tip there merchandising could be the next uh, clue that that we have or the next secret that we have now moving on forward once again we'd like to thank our partners and we'd like to show uh, a film uh, that will talk a little more about it could we have the audio visual please चाहे कोई भी हो खोते 
पीठ पे कभी मार नहीं करते हमारी सड़कों पर काम करने देंगे तो वर्ल्ड कप लेकर हम ही एक हफ्ते में जूनियर हॉकी चैंपियनशिप लखनऊ में होगा पूरी दुनिया की नजर हम पे होगी अगर फेल हो ना तो समझ लेना कि तुम्हारे कोचिंग करियर का दिया है उनकी तब जाके लोग हमारी मिसाल देंगे largest and fastest growing media houses sakal media group offers 360 degree media solutions be it print television digital or even the group's flagship brand sakal is not only the largest circulating marathi daily today but it is also the voice of the people of maharashtra along with sakal sakal times pune's oldest english daily have online versions as well which are fitting stages for the exchange of ideas for the reader and e sakal portal is the single largest marathi community digital the group has been producing content that enlightens inspires and entertains for we strive to create a world where you have more ways to implement a change thus going forward to help bring about a change in the society the group formed delivering change foundation tanishka forum yin and silc with the most defining reason to partner with government and communities to bridge the gap between the haves and have nots and transform the nation in a manner that is sustainable replicable and scalable we are sakal media group and here every day new ideas for a better tomorrow <laughs>